everyone, Commander Caitlin, welcome to virtual lesson number one. I'm so glad you're joining us today. Now, Super Kids, the last few weeks we've been learning about how at Super Kids we have fun. Now, remember what fun stands for? F, we are followers of Jesus. U, we are united. And N, we are nice. By those three things together at Super Kids, we have fun. Now, Today we're going to learn a bit more about that last word, N for nice. We're going to learn about some of the ways that God wants us to be nice. Now we've already talked about a few ways that we can be nice in our lessons. And I'm going to ask you a question. Help me out, super kids. I want you to yell out to the screen right now, what's one way that you can be nice to others? Ready? Go! Yes! Great idea! I heard some great things there about being nice to your friends. Now, today we're going to learn about one way that you can be nice is by doing something called listening. Yep, have you heard that word before? Listening. Now, I've got to do an exercise. Firstly, put one hand up here, one hand up here, are your hands up here? Now move them to the side of your head and tap around. Tap around the side of your head. Can you feel something on your head? I can feel something. Let's have a look. Yes, ears. Who's got ears? Put your hand up. Have you got ears? If you've got ears, then you can listen. Now, one of the ways we can be God wants us to be a nice friend is to listen. Now, I'm going to teach you the difference between a word called hearing and listening. Who's heard those two words before? Have you heard the word hearing? Yep, to hear something. And secondly, to listen. Now, we've got these amazing things on our body. It's called ears. Now, when you hear something, that just means, you know what, you, you hear the noise around you, but you don't pay any attention to it. So maybe, you know, maybe you're walking down the street and you sort of hear people talking. And you're, where are you walking in the shops? You're walking in the shops and you're walking along and you can hear lots of noise. You can hear people talking. You can hear, you know, um, dogs outside barking. You can people hear people opening the, the cash register and closing it. There's lots of noise, people walking around. You can hear all this noise, but you don't really pay attention to the noise. It's just noise around you. You just hear it, but you don't listen and actually think about what's happening. You don't think about what people are saying. You know what? Sometimes if we're not careful, we can do that when people are talking to us. So when you're, maybe your mum comes to you and your mum's talking to you, sometimes you can, instead of listening, you can just hear her. And hearing means that mum's talking, mum's telling you something very important. But instead of listening and thinking about her words and thinking about what she's saying, you just sort of turn turn your brain off, switch your brain off, and just let your ears hear noise. So you just hear blah, 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 blah. But your brain's switched off and your brain's thinking about that video game that you want to play later on. Or your brain's thinking about that TV show. Or your brain's thinking about something fun that you want to do. When your mum's talking and all you hear is blah, 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 blah. Because you switch your brain off. And you just use your ears to hear. You're not actually listening. You don't really know what she's saying. You don't care what she's saying. That's not what God wants us to do. God wants us to listen. Now, the difference between hearing and listening is when you listen, you use your ears, but you actually pay attention. Your ears and your brain, they work together. And you think about what she's saying. So when your mom's talking and telling you something very important, you say, I'm going to focus on what mum is saying and I'm going to listen to what mum's saying. So you actually use your ears and you listen and you hear her words, but then you think about them, you take them in, you pay attention and you, pay, you listen and understand what she's saying. Do you understand the difference? Hearing, you don't actually listen. You don't think about what they're saying. You're just thinking about other things. Listening, you hear what they say, but you pay attention and you take it in and you focus on them and you give them respect by saying, I am listening and I'm, I'm putting value on what you're telling me and I'm going to pay attention and focus on the words that you're saying. Do you know, that's a way that we can be a really nice friend is God wants us to listen. You know, there's a, a scripture in the Bible in Proverbs 18, 13, where it says, listen before you answer. God wants us to take time to listen to what people are saying to us. It's not just your mom. It could be your parents. It could be your siblings. It could be your friends. A way to be a really good friend is to take time to listen to what they're saying. So when your friend is talking to you, 
you actually show them value. You're nice to them because you say, I value what you're saying and I'm going to listen and pay attention. Do you know the other way that we need to listen? Is we need to listen until they're finished talking. We don't interrupt someone before they're finished talking because we just want to say what we want to say. Have you ever done that? I've done that before. You know, sometimes maybe my friend is talking and they're talking and I'm, I'm sort of listening, but then I really want to say something. So before they're finished, I cut in and I say what I want to say. So they're talking, 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 around, but like, I'm going to talk over you and I'm going to start talking. And I want you to listen to me now because it's my turn to talk. I'm going to talk, talk, talk. No, that's not how we listen. When we listen, we let somebody finish what they're saying and then we can say and talk to them and they can listen to us. That's how we be nice. It is nice not to talk over someone and not to interrupt when someone else is speaking. So today, Super Kids, I want to challenge you to listen and to not interrupt. Just like the Bible says, wait, listen before you answer. Listen to somebody. Don't just answer. Don't cut across. Don't just speak back. Don't just talk over. When we are to be nice, we need to listen. We're not, not just here. But we need to listen. We need to focus, switch our brains on, pay attention to what they're saying. Listen and absorb it and think about it. So to be nice, we need to one, listen. We need to two, wait till somebody's finished talking. We don't, we do not interrupt. Wait, listen and wait till they're finished and then speak. So today, Super Kids, I want to challenge you today. Maybe it's with your siblings, maybe your brother or sister, and sometimes you have a tendency to talk over them and to not listen to what they're saying because you just want to say what you want to say. And your sister might be talking, but you just, you start talking because you don't want to listen to her. Well, you can be a great Super Kid today by actually um, showing her that you're going to listen. You know what? Maybe they're younger siblings, and sometimes younger siblings are a bit harder if they're really little because they don't understand. You can be a good example to them. You can show them and help train them that this what it, this is what it means to listen. That I'm going to listen. Maybe when your mum is talking today, when your mum is talking, I want you to do everything you can to do what we've done today and to listen to your mum and to not speak back, to not interrupt her halfway through, to wait till she's finished. Because at Super Kids, we are great listeners. We listen to people, whoever they are that they're speaking to us. We listen to them and we wait till they're finished before we start talking back. Okay, Super Kids, I believe in you. You're going to do a great job because that is one way today we can be nice. And I want you to go and do that today. And I, tell me, tell me how you went. Tell me how you listened to your friends. Listen to your parents. Listen to your siblings today. Tell me how you have practiced this, how you have listened, not just heard, and that you have not interrupted, you've waited before you spoke and you answered back. All right, super kids, let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for these wonderful super kids. I thank you, Lord, that you help us be a good friend, that the Bible is full of great truths of how we can be good friends and how we can be nice. And one of those ways is by listening. So um, Holy Spirit, I ask you to help us, help every super kid watching this, that today and as they go about their week, Holy Spirit, help us, quicken us so that we can listen. We can be good listeners, that we can show value on people. And when they're talking, we actually listen. We pay attention. We think about it and we don't interrupt, that we wait for people to finish what they're saying before we start talking because that's how you want us to do it, God, and we want to be just like you. So Jesus, I ask you to help us. Holy Spirit, help us to be good listeners today. In Jesus' name, amen. Well done, super kids. Have a great week. Don't forget to click below to say, I watched this video and get five fun points.